This is Matt with Mel Express Radio. I have with me the legendary Igor Cavalera. How are you today, man? I'm all good, man. How's things? Things are great, you know. I'm Massachusetts. Really excited that you and Max will be bringing the return Beneath a Rise tour to the United States. Um, of course, classic albums out for you know well over 20 years now. How's it feel to be bringing this tour to the States? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. You know, we, we did this tour in Europe, and also we had a chance to do South America, Central America, all the way to Mexico. And then when we were going to do the U.S., of course, things got crazy with COVID. So we had all this stuff scheduled that it was canceled and postponed or, or whatever. So now it's time to do it, man. We're super excited, of course. We it, It's a tour that we, we did in many places, like I said, from, from South America all the way to Australia. So it would be amazing to do this in the U.S. I think a lot of people would appreciate uh, us playing those records and, and those songs. And yeah, it's quite special because some people were there and want to revisit. Some people were not even born when we did this and some people didn't have a chance to see it. So I think it's a, it's a cool combination of all, all of the above, you know, and me as a fan, I, I try to see, you know, bands when they, when they do those kind of things, because I think it's quite special, you know, we know by, by many other ways that some bands cannot do that due to some people passing away and not being here with us anymore. So, so I find quite amazing that we can still do it. And doing these tours, do you notice now like these different generations of fans, like people bringing their children on like uh, going to see like the songs that they grew up on? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is, you know, of course, like some parents, some really cool parents that enjoy this kind of music, you know, and bring their kids and then, of course, there's a lot of kids that just show up because it's something that they're into, you know, like this this heavy stuff. So I, I think it's cool to see new blood, of course. You know, like I, I love the loyalty of our fans, and, and I think it, that's something very special. But I think also it's it's pretty cool when you have young people discovering things that we did and things that we do and how we play those things live. So that's quite special. Any particular song off of Arise or Beneath the Remains that's been your favorite to revisit? Man, I have to say, once I start going after them, it's so many cool songs, you know, like even stuff that me and Max never had a chance to play live before we're doing on this tour. So it's, it's super cool to, to do this, you know, of course, like things like Inner Self and, and, and Dead Embryonic Cells and, you know, back and forth between the two records. There's so many cool songs. And then, of course, you know, there, there is a lot of stuff that it's, it's cool to revisit, like Altered States and, and, you know, many, many cool songs, you know. And would you ever see you and Max doing something for any other album? I know you've done a celebration for Roots. Obviously, you have Beneath the, the Remains and Arise going on right now. Would you ever see maybe doing Chaos AD? Yeah, I mean, that's something that, of course, we... We still haven't planned anything like that for Chaos AD or, or even for any of the other records. But it's, it's definitely something that we love to do. We love to revisit, you know, those those very amazing times that we wrote those songs together and then we, we performed those songs. So, of course, in the future, we will love to, to do things. So we, we kind of like go back through our catalog and, and revisit a lot of things, you know. And how has it been working with Dan Gonzalez of Possessed and Mike Leon of Soulfly with uh, the touring lineup? Well, Mike is someone that I'm, I'm more familiar with. We did a lot of tours with him in uh, doing the Beneath Her Rise shows that I mentioned in South America. But then it's like a complete new thing, you know, so I'm, I'm super excited. I'm a huge fan of Dan's work, you know, not only with Possessed, but Gruesome, and he's like an, such an amazing guitar player, and he's a fan of, of all the stuff that we're talking about, you know, he grew up listening to, you know, Beneath the Remains and all those records, so it's, it's a cool combination, man, you know, I think it's gonna be fire, I'm really 
looking forward, you know, to to share the stage with him. And you yourself have always kept yourself busy musically. Are you still working with your other projects, such as Mix Hell, Pepperick, and um, Solax? All of that shit, man. I mean, there's so many projects, you know, like I just did one with the guys from uh, Erosis and Amin Ra, which is called Absent and Body, and it just came out on Relapse not too long ago. And I also did some stuff with one of my favorite bands, hardcore bands called Integrity. And that's coming out pretty soon. So I, I pretty much try to stay busy, even if I'm not touring, but in the studio and, and playing drums with people that I love and different projects. So for me, it's cool to be as diverse as possible and also to enjoy playing with people that I, I find they're my heroes somehow. So yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, you and Max have always shown your love for hardcore. I know throughout the years you've taken up bands like Earth Crisis, and you also had Roger Murray of Agnostic Front on Blunt Force Trauma. Has there ever been another band that you've wanted to take out that you haven't yet? Yeah, I mean, lots of them, really. You know, of course, like you mentioned, two very strong uh, names that we toured before. And, of course, like, you know, a band that me and Max grew up is Discharge, that's still active to this day, maybe. It will be amazing to tour together one day. And there, there's a lot of uh, hardcore. It's, it's, for me, it's, it's as much as influence as, as metal. It is, it's pretty much 50-50, I would say. You know, like the love that I have for hardcore and the love I have for metal is pretty much the same. You know, like it gets also blurred sometimes where certain bands become more metal than hardcore. You know, even someone like Agnostic Front, you know, when they did cause for alarm for me it sounds like a metal record with with a hardcore attitude so yeah i I love all that stuff so going back for over 30 years since you've been involved with music what is some of your favorite drum work that you've done i mean there's a lot of stuff you know like it's it's quite difficult to to pinpoint of course i can talk about parts that i love playing you know stuff like inner self you know with the double bass and then, of course, uh, Desperate Cry. All, all those drum parts are, are very iconic in, in their own way. But also, for me, they're just fun to play. I love playing those songs, and I love playing those drum parts. And every time I, I revisit them, it's it's really cool. It's almost like going back into my brain on how I created them, you know, in the studio. So it's it's a trip. And, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's very special. Is it possible that fans might get a new Cavalier Conspiracy album? Or do you think right now you're kind of focusing on the anniversary of Beneath the Remains and Arise? Well, me and Max, we're always working on stuff. We're always sending ideas back and forth. So, so definitely in the future, we, we're going to have some Cavalier stuff. We're going to have some really cool things. At the same time that we're doing this tour, we bounce a lot of ideas. And, and yeah, so we definitely going to be working on new Cavalier stuff. It's, it's it's definitely in the plans. Is there anything that we haven't gone over that you'd like to throw in? I mean, I just have to say I'm super happy, man, to, to be touring the U.S. again. Of course, you know, there I have many friends, many bands that I love, and hopefully I, I will get to see some of those friends, some of those bands, and, and you know, got to get to hang out with them and, and play some music, so... I'm super excited. That's that's my main message at the moment, you know. Right now, my last question for you is, what has been your driving force just to stay with music for over 30 years now? I don't know. Maybe I'm a masochist, man. You know, <laughs> it's just, it's a struggle, as we all know, as not only as, as a musician, but anybody who deals with art, you know, including, you know, press, people who deal with radio, if you deal with underground music, it's a struggle, man. It's not easy. As we know, it's it's a very uh, difficult path, but also very enjoyable for that reason, because you, you build something that is very solid and it's not built on hype or or whatever, like it's the, the new flavor of the month. You know, it's something that it's a lot more loyal. So that's, I think, maybe the drive, you know, it's loyalty. 
that's about all the questions I got for you. Thank you so much again for taking the time to talk with me. I hope uh, the best for you and Max and the rest of the camp on tour to stay safe and healthy. All right, my brother. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you guys on the pit.